Suppose that f of 1 is equal to 2, f of 4 is equal to 7, f prime of 1 is equal to 5, and f prime of 4 is equal to 3. And the second derivative is continuous. We want to find the value of the integral going from 1 to 4 of x times the second derivative of x dx. So let's go ahead and write out our integral. So our integral is going to go from 1 to 4. And this is x times f second derivative of x dx. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to let u represent x. And then dv is going to be f second derivative of x dx. So du is going to equal dx here. And then v is going to be f prime of x. So now let's go ahead and apply our formula. So we have 1 to 4x times f second derivative of x dx. So we're going to have u times v going from 1 to 4 minus the integral from 1 to 4 v du. So we know that u is x, so it's going to be x times f prime of x going from 1 to 4 minus the integral from 1 to 4 of v du, so therefore that's f prime of x dx. Okay, so now we know that this is going to be x times f prime of x going from 1 to 4. And what is the antiderivative of f prime of x? Well, we know that f, the der antiderivative of f prime of x is f of x going from 1 to 4. So we're going to have 4 times f prime of 4 minus 1 times f prime of 1 minus f of 4 minus f of 1. So from the beginning of the problem, we know what each of these represent. So we have 4 times f prime of 4 is 3, minus 1 times f prime of 1 is 5, minus f of 4 is 7, minus f of 1 is 2. And so therefore, we have 12 minus 5 minus 7 minus 2. So this becomes 7 minus 5, which is equal to 2. And therefore, there is our result.